This is a brief tutorial on how to use Gubrics for a quick and easy assessment associated with Google Classroom. The first thing you will need is a rubric that you will have created in Sheets. Depending on the assignment will depend on what sort of rubric you have. I keep all my rubrics organized in this folder which I call Gubrics and you'll understand the reason for that in a minute. Now this is a creative writing rubric that I have created so I'm just going to point out a couple of things. This is a fairly involved rubric. It has three or four things that I'm assessing for on the side and so these go down the A column. It's important that you leave space A1 blank. Okay, um, and then you put your values in across here. And what this will do is it will print this rubric out onto the student's assignment at the end uh, when you're finished assessing. And I'll show you how that works once we get to that point. So however you set up your rubric, the values need to be across the top like this. Uh, it could be as simple as just one bar or however, many, or however many rows you want. Give your rubric a generic name, and this will be what gets pasted onto the assignment of choice. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is to create a new sheet. So to do this, you navigate your way to drive.google.com, new sheet. Now, these next steps are a one-off. It's just to apply the add-on, Doctopus, to the sheet so that you have it for future use. You don't really need to open a new sheet. Um, actually, you could have done it from the rubric you just created as well. That would have done the same thing. I'm doing it over here because I've already added Doctopus to my Spurred account, so I'm going somewhere where I haven't added it. So up here you will find uh, a button called Add-ons. And you sim simply select Get Add-ons. You search Doctopus, and it should be this one here. And you click Yes. And you have to let it do all of these things. You also, I should have pointed out, have a Google Classroom account set up as well. So on the spreadsheet that you're currently on, this is where your marks are going to be stored. So we'll just call this results or essay. If you have added Doctopus correctly, up here where it says add-ons, you should now see Doctopus. So we want to launch that. Once it's launched, it will give you two choices. So we want to we have ingest a Google Classroom assignment or distribute drive resources from to a roster. We want to choose the first one, ingest a Google Classroom assignment. If you have multiple classes, they're all going to show up, so you need to choose the right class and then choose the right assignment. Typically, you would then click on this box to only ingest files that are turned in, uh, unless you are going to be awarding zeros, which is bad assessment practice. But I guess you could do that if you wanted. And then you click on ingest assignment, and what that will do is bring all of the files from Google Classroom into this spreadsheet where it will record, where you will be able to add comments and mark. Okay, so once they're all added, these these links here become the link to the active uh, student document. So you click on that and that would take you to uh, this person's essay. Okay. Right, so there we have that person's essay. Uh, but that's not what we want this uh, want to do with Dr. Puss. We have one more step to do first. So the next thing we want to do is attach Gubrick. This is of course the rubric that you would have created earlier, the first step of the assignment. So I'm going to attach my critical essay rubric because that's what I want to use and then I have some choices I need to make so I can allow for self peer assessment I don't typically do that um, I do want to send email notifications to the students when I'm all, all finished and I do want the students to be able to see the rubric when they are finished so then I attach the rubric now if I go back to the assignments results page you will see that you have a new link called rubric link and so we can start at the top and click on assess document and this is what you should be left with. You now have the student assignment here um, and you have the ability to write, make marks right on it but, but what I typically do is make sure that I'm clicking on suggesting so that it does not erase the student's actual work and then anything that gets done will have marks so they know where I've made the changes. They can go in and see where I've made the changes. But the real benefit is up here where you have your descriptors, you have thought, so it's a uh, support organization, etc. So you just go in and award the mark where it's needed. So we'll give her a four there, and a three there, and a two here, and a three here. And in the box, you have the ultimate your comments that you want to make. And that will be then attached onto the student and you're done. 
And you can e also easily navigate. So once you've done that essay, it's just as easy as clicking next. And then the next X essay will load. And away you go. Do the same thing again. When you're all finished, you click submit. And what that will do is it will send the essay uh, uh, with the rubric attached to it back to the student in email form. To recap, we begin by having an assignment. You have your students complete the assignment. They turn it in. Then you need to make a rubric. Where's my rubric? There it is. Um, where you fill out all your descriptors that you want and what you're assessing for. Then you go to your Google Drive and create a new place where you want to store the results. You ingest the um, assignment from Google Classroom, attach the rubric, and then finally assess the students. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email at marshall.hartman at gmail.com. Hopefully this will prove useful for you.